Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, the 19th of May. We continue looking at some of the readings from morning prayer, Ezekiel and Hebrews. And it struck me when we spoke yesterday, we talked about the way that God loves us beyond our comprehension. He always has and he always will. But within that love, are the boundaries that God has established and the warning that when and if we trespass those boundaries, there will be consequences, a punishment. And those boundaries are not so narrowly defined that it is impossible not to break the law in some way or the other. Um, some religions um, certainly seem to define their God like that and their laws are incredibly strict. But the laws of God are not as strict as that. Nevertheless, as we read the Old Testament, we see how frequently the people broke the laws. They really did trespass those boundaries. And if I'm honest, I do too. And so do you, I suggest. And so there are these consequences that come our way. Now, that doesn't mean that any time and every time something goes wrong or uh, we feel that we are being picked upon or punished, that we are therefore guilty of doing something and that God is punishing us. That that kind of thinking is a little bit uh, short-sighted. It's like saying as um, soon as something goes wrong and somebody gets sick, then, oh, they must have sinned and this is God punishing them. Really, I don't think God is quite as um, Newtonian in the way that he operates with us in the relationship that he has with us. I try to draw the analogy of our own relationship with our children. And um, sad, the parent who is so um, black and white, so strict um, that the child can hardly put a foot wrong before they get into some form of punishment. No, our God is not like that at all. And so the joy that we can take out of this is that this God, our God, loves us. And yes, he guides us into the future. He has boundaries to keep us um, on the road, heading in the direction he wants to go. Straight and narrow is some of the descriptions, but I don't think God and his relationship with us is quite as narrow as, as we might envisage it to be, which is not to give us any license and leeway to do the wrong thing, but to know that our God loves us and that he has a plan for us. And you certainly pick this up in the book of, e of Ezekiel as we read it uh, this morning. Ezekiel is uh, talking to the people and God is talking to Ezekiel, telling him to say these words to the people. And it is to remind them that they have sinned and they need to repent and come back to God. But within all of this is this incredible promise. The people will return to Jerusalem. they uh, being captives in, in, in Babylon is only for a period of time. And you can imagine how the people would have received and heard that message. They had been captured and taken away. For them, this was the end. They, they believed they would never see Jerusalem again. They believed their lives would be cut short. And then comes Ezekiel, a prophet of God, and says, no, no, these are boundaries you have trespassed. These are the consequences of doing that but you will go and your descendants will return to Jerusalem. And it's for one of these reasons why I can say with such boldness and confidence that the COVID-19 pandemic and all of the impact and the negative consequences of that impact on our lives of economic hardship, of death for many and illness um, is, is, is to pass and God will come back for us because that's the God that we worship and so hold on to the faith in your life whatever it is that you are experiencing perhaps it is the hardship of COVID-19 and the pandemic and the lockdown hold on to your faith in God do not believe the COVID is some punishment from God and if you got ill or somebody else that you know died that's God's punishment to them that's so simplistic an interpretation of our faith but just hold on to this repent of to God of the things you've done wrong and have faith that God will lead us all out the other side, back to where God wants us to be. 
Folks, have a wonderful day and we'll chat again tomorrow. God bless.